Yo, hello! Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an automatic anvil replacer for your enchantment room. As a quick little demonstration, I have a small enchantment room here, and this is the anvil replacer. As long as you have a wall that is three blocks wide and is completely flat, when the anvil breaks, a brand new one will drop from the ceiling and take its spot. So I think that's pretty cool, and you can fit it into pretty much any enchantment room. But for this build, the items you will need are right here. It does have to be in Minecraft Java edition of 1.16 because I do use a target block. And the only weird thing is a fence. You have to have any type of fence, it doesn't matter. And a barrel. But these are the items. These are special ones that you may or may not need depending on if you're playing on a server. For the automatic anvil replacer, you're going to have to find a spot in which you want your anvil to be. And then you're going to have to have a wall that is at least three blocks tall behind it. Then we're going to go two blocks down, dig down like that, and we're going to have a sticky piston facing straight up into the top block. Now we're going to put another sticky piston on the bottom left, diagonal to it, and it's going to face towards the right side with a redstone block right underneath it. I think I forgot to mention this, but you also need a dropper for this build. You're going to place a dropper, doesn't matter in which direction, just uh, one block away from the sticky piston. And if you hold shift, you place an observer that points straight at the sticky piston. Now take out your fence, and we're going to place it on the left side, right above this sticky piston. Go to the opposite side of it, you're going to place a observer that points towards the back. Hold shift, you can place a repeater right here. Then you can fit a block right in front of the repeater. Now from this block, we're going to build out another two blocks like so. And put a other one right in the middle so it makes a little T. And we're going to look at this block right here. Place an observer. You jump up, you can place a repeater right underneath you. Then on four. And right here, we're pointing towards the right side. Put a repeater there, set on two. Red sun dust here and here. We're almost done. We're going to go to the far side and have a target block. Diagonal to this block so that the redstone dust points into the block. Redstone torch on top of the target block. A block on top of that. Another one to the right of it. Another redstone torch on top of this block. A block on top of that. We're going to place redstone dust here. And a redstone torch right above the dust. Now we're going to take out our sticky pistons. And from this block right here. Stand towards the front. We place a sticky piston that points into the middle block. And then another sticky piston. Put it on top of it that points into the top block. Take out your observers. And from this bottom sticky piston, place an observer that points towards the left side. Then we're going to go underneath it, put down two more observers pointing straight down. Depending on if you're on a server or not, this next section may not work. But you're going to go to where this redstone block is and place a block on the right of it. Then you're going to take out a hopper, place one right here, a barrel right on top of the hopper. Take out your comparator, and you're going to place it on this block, pointing towards the redstone block. Now you're going to go into the hopper. You can use any item, as long as it's it's the same item. I would recommend using cobblestone or something. And just fill up every slot with a single item. And you can go in the barrel, and you're going to use a different item from what you put in the hopper. It doesn't matter what it is, just a single item in the barrel. Okay, and that's actually the whole anvil replacer. From this block right here, you can stack up anvils. Go as high as you want, but when you break this one right here, oh, I forgot, put a button on the back of this piston and press it. Now, whenever you break this anvil, a new one should replace it. That is the anvil replacer. You tried the anvil replacer and it is not working. That's most likely because you're on a server and this may not may or may not work. So what you can do is remove it, take out two observers instead. I'm going to place one pointing like so, then another one pointing to the right. Then you can take out a slab and replace this with the upper slab and redstone dust on top of it. Now it should work exactly the same, just like that. And I'm going to show you quickly, if you run out of anvils, it'll get stuck in this state right here until you replace it with new anvils. So you have to add a new, uh, new anvils right here. 
then you can press the button back and it'll set itself all back up it's ready to go again but anyways that is my anvil replacer if you guys found it useful why not leave a thumbs up